What's up guys? Today I'm here to talk about allegations. My allegations is a formula to figure out when you need a specific concentration of a drug and that drug doesn't come in that concentration by the manufacturer. So for example, the other day I had this, uh, the doctor ordered Dextrose 17.5% and it doesn't come like that. So I had a 10% bag, Dextrose 10%, and I also had Dextrose 50% in the vials. So I needed to figure out how was I going to make this dextrose 17.5% and I completely forgot how to do allegations. It happens when you don't use it that often. Uh, and luckily I had a coworker that was nice enough to show me how to do the allegations again and um, how to solve it out and she gave us a couple of questions to do. So it gave me the idea to do this video for future reference if I ever want to come back to look at this if I forget or if my friends want to know how to do this if they forgot or somebody out there is going to do the uh, technician certification. Also pharmacists need to know allegations. So I'm going to do two problems with you guys today and then also at the end of this video towards the end I'm going to show you a secret after I did some digging of getting allegations done in seconds. So if you're in a crunch and it's busy and you got stats and you don't have time to take out papers and write down the calculations for this, I have a secret that will get your allegations done in seconds. All right, stay tuned. So I'm ready to do the first problem with you guys. And anytime you're doing allegations, always think of this. You only need four bits of information. So a lot of times on a test, they might give you different numbers. They might word things a little differently to try to throw you off. And uh, just focus on the four numbers. So question one, I just wrote the bits that you need. Four things, okay? Uh, I have concentrated saline, 23.4%. I have a half saline bag, okay? And I need to make 1,000 ml of normal saline. Those four bits of information. So your three concentrations of two of them is what you have, the other one is uh, what you desire, and then the amount that you wanna make, okay? So if you follow my steps here that I wrote, the first step here is write what you need in the middle. So what I need is normal saline, right? For this first problem, normal saline. So I'm gonna write 0 0.9, okay? 0 0.9. And then the second step says write what you have on the left. And it says their higher number on top. This is very important. So what I have, I have the 23.4 and a uh, half saline. So I'm gonna make sure I write 23.4 up top, 23.4. And uh, and then under that, I'm gonna write 0 0.45 for half saline. Okay. And um, and then the next, set, the next step says cross subtract. So I'm gonna take 23.4 minus 0.9, okay? 22.5. So I'm gonna carry the 22.5 down here across, 22.5, right? And then I need to subtract 0.45 minus nine. Make sure uh, you take the higher number first and then subtract. So I'm gonna do 0 0.9 minus 0.45, okay? And then the answer is 0 0.45. The numbers that you get on the right-hand side there those are called parts. Those are parts of each that you're gonna to need to make the normal saline. So the next step here says, after cross subtracting, add the parts from the cross subtraction. So we're gonna add the parts, 0.45 plus 22.5, okay? And that makes 22.95, okay? Those are the total parts. Let me write parts here. That's the total parts, okay? Then it says, divide the total volume or size by the total amount of parts. So the volume that we need for this particular problem is 1,000 ml, right? That's what we're gonna get. So we're gonna take 1,000 divided by 22.95, okay? So let me do it here on a calculator. 1,000 divided by 22.95 that comes out to 43.57 okay so the next problem here says multiply 
the next step, sorry. The next step here says multiply each part by the answer of step five. So what we're gonna do here, just write a little multiplication, and we're gonna do 43.57. 43.57, okay? Let me zoom in for you guys a little. Um, so let me multiply that, 0.45 times 43.57 equals 19.6, 19.6 mLs, okay? And then the next part is 22.5 times 43.57 comes out to 980.3 mLs, okay? So what that tells you there is, first of all, you solve the problem. That's telling you that, all right guys, so I'm on to the next problem. The next problem, the scenario is gonna be, we gotta combine two creams to this, to uh, let's say two hydrocortisone. We gotta combine two different percentages to make them the 3%, okay? And we need to make 30 grams of that. So what it says is write what you need in the middle. So what do I need, right? I need the 3%. So I'm gonna write 3%. <clears throat> and then it says, write what you have on the left with the higher number up top. So that's 2.5%, right? Put that up top, 2.5%. And then I have the 0.5%, right? And then the next step is cross subtract. So I'm gonna put the 0.5 here and then three minus 0.5, we'll put it to 2.5 here, okay? And after that, the next step is add the parts from the cross subtraction, right? Because this is parts right here. So we're gonna get three here. We have three total parts. And uh, the next part is divide the total volume or size by the total amount of parts. So this time we're not working with a bag here, we're working with the cream. So the size that we need is 30 grams. So we're gonna take 30 divided by 3, right? And that's going to give us 10. So the last step here says multiply each part by the answer of step 5. So we're going to put times 10. We're going to put here times 10, right? So what we're going to get here is we're going to get the 25 grams here. We need 25 grams of 2.5%, and then we're gonna get five grams. Oh, sorry, I wrote that there. Five grams of the 0.5%. Zoom that in for you guys. All right. All right, guys, so that's it. The 2.5%, you need 25 grams of that, and the 0.5%, you need five grams of that, and that will give you the 3% and 30 grams. All right, and as I promised you guys, the life hack to getting through this easily, quickly, and skipping all these steps and doing allegations in seconds is take a wild guess. You take yourself over to the Android market, <laughs> right? There's only one app on the Android market that I know of that has the allegation calculator. That's it, that's simple. And like I told you, you need four bits of information. So the desired strength is normal saline, right? Desired mLs is 1,000 mLs. Stock solution, the first one we have is 23.4. And the, stock, uh, the other stock solution is the half saline, 0.45, right? Calculate. That gives us the answer for 19.61 and 980.39. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any suggestions, if you have any tips, if you know of an app on the iPhone market, uh, send me the name of the app so I can post it. And also, I do know about the tic-tac-toe. If you want to do the tic-tac-toe, you can. It doesn't make a difference. It's just the lines. Maybe it's more organized. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good day. God bless. I see potential subscribers.